Hey y'all, it's Birdie Chesson here. And I wanted to read you the introduction to my book, Thinking With Your. All right, forward. I wanted to write this book for the daughter that I never birthed, for the young ladies that I have the privilege to know, yet to know, and to you, one of my sisters in this life. As I always let y'all know, I love you and I want what's best for you. This is for our journey together. I don't believe in regrets. It makes you stay in the past too long. And whenever you look back, you tend to dwell and then you feel those feelings and nine times out of 10, it gets you back into trouble. I believe in learning your lessons or you're destined to repeat them and you'll stay in the mindset that it puts you in. I had to admit that I needed to change how I've treated myself. I'm a great person, but in the past, I let the incomplete parts of me control everything about me. Sometimes it was my brain thinking too much. Sometimes it was my heart feeling too much. And then sometimes it was her, my pussy, that did all of the deciding for us. Now, before you think that this book of this book and even the use of the word pussy is me being vulgar, that's fine. Not everyone's going to have the same thinking process and even be able to conceive that the prospect even exists. But the reality is, it does. Your pussy is one of your best friends for life. So whatever name that you want to call her, substitute it. The message here is definitely worth it. In the past, I'd meet someone, thought they were nice, but something was off. But I'd still let it go because of the prospect of what it could be was bigger than what it actually was. I enjoyed the energy. I let my pussy lead and make decisions on the behalf of my heart and mind. I was lying to myself and making decisions that had nothing to do with what I wanted or needed. I use my pussy to stay in relationships that I knew I should have loved. I use my pussy to go further with men than I wanted to. I use my pussy to weigh the pros and cons to fit what I thought I wanted. I was a coward hiding behind my heart and mind using my pussy. I use my pussy to control my actions and here I was making heartless and mindless choices carrying me through drawn out and sometimes torturous situationships, ending up with placeholders, space fillers, and bookmarks. Did I have to stay that way? Of course not. The best part of knowing what we've done gives us the power to shift towards what we really want, giving ourselves the permission to change, especially if you're not happy living that way. There's so much more to life and there's way much more to love. I can laugh now when I think about myself within my personal journey to now, but the reality at the time was that it wasn't funny at all. I would have been destined to stay in limbo in my love life unless I got all of us on the same page, making the same love decisions based on incomplete parts and or portions, heart, mind, and pussy. The roller coaster ride ends here. In the interest of transparency, here I am. Hopefully, pieces of mine and others' journeys can help you in your own self-exploration. So don't let the title drive you away. Remember the reason you picked this up, thought about it in the first place. Take the quiz at makegoodpussydecisions.com. And if you don't want it in your browser, Make good love decisions.com. It's definitely worth it. Take care, y'all. Birdie Chesson here, and I love you.